Welcome to another video by yours truly, Sahu Bua. In this, in this video today, I'm going to be answering the question of what is the difference between a structure and a class? Because this is a common question that I get, especially when, when students are undertaking C++ programming courses at university or even at job interviews. This is a common question that, that gets asked. So I'm going, to answer, I'm going to answer that question today. So what is the, what is the difference between the two? Well, for one thing, a structure and a class can be defined as both data structures, in a way. But the difference between the two is that one is public by default and the other one is private by default. But firstly, let's start with what, where data structures, where, from where structures came from, sorry. Structures came from the C, from the C language and structures from there have always been defined as public. Because in the C programming language, there were no classes before then, before C++ came. So that's why we use C++, so that we can create classes that are public and private and, and protected. So that is the major difference between the two. Structures are public by default, whereas classes are private by default. That is the major difference that you need to remember. And the other thing that you need to understand is that with structures, since uh, they are derived from the C programming language, we, we, can't, we can't set structures to be public, private, or protected. So that's why we use classes in the C++ programming language, because that gives us greater power to set private, private or public variables in when you were, when you were defining your classes. So that, so, that, so that, again, that's the advantage of using uh, classes over structures because we have more power to set the variables when we are, when we are creating that, that class for the, for the programmer. So there you have it guys, I hope that clears up the, what the difference is between a structure and a class. If you have any more questions, feel free to comment down below and I'll be able to answer any questions that you might have. I hope you guys enjoyed my latest video. As you know, I'm always giving you something new, but what I'd like for you to do is that I would like for you to click on the link below and sign up for my free report on the five major tips to shorten and accelerate your learning curve in a matter of months. This free report is the report that I wish I had when I first started learning programming back in 2009 and it would have saved me all the time and frustration it took me to start understanding programming. It's yours completely for free and just scroll down below, click on the link and just sign up for the free report today. This is Sahil Bora reporting out.